Hello and welcome, every uh, welcome everybody. I don't even know why I tried talking that fast, but welcome everybody to a new episode of SnowRunner. And today, as you can tell, we have a new mod to try out. Well, actually, two of them. That you're just seeing them in there, but there you go. That's a preview of what they are. Now I want to give you guys a couple of seconds to figure out what the fuck they are. I know you guys are probably just gonna skip through anyways, but whatever. Doesn't matter if you guys like guessing games. There you go. But this is the Taiga. Yeah, I know. It, I, you know, it's not really in the game game, but it's a mod. So this will be our rescue truck for today, if we ever do get stuck. So I got two very good mods. Very good. And you guys might like them. If you guys are Chev fans or Jeep fans, you might like them. But this is what they are. Come on. There you go. So we got the 19... It's either 72, 73 to 79 Chev on the left with the monster truck tires. It's probably a 2019, 2020, maybe even a 2018 Jeep Gladiator. Now, a lot of you guys probably like the Jeep a lot because it is a very good looking vehicle that is for sure but today we are testing out the both of them and yeah let's see which one we can get stuck first not gonna lie I'm kinda going on the Jeep to get stuck first cause nothing not, nothing quite rolls like a Chev I mean a couple videos back you, I posted a video of Chev versus Ford versus GMC uh, yeah, Chev versus Ford versus GMC or whatever. And the Ford actually came out on top. And it was basically everything almost had not really the same power to weight, but just to say, you know, the Ford was a little bit more powerful. But to be honest, I actually think the Chev's got this. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think this is a little bit too overpowered of a mod. I think the monster tires really do give it its advantage going through the mud. Because <clears throat> watch, you seen that I had that thing in high and as soon as I put this in high it just spins out. I mean if you want a good trail machine, this is definitely a good trail machine, this Jeep, that's for sure. Speaking of trails, we got one right here, so we'll take the Jeep up first instead of doing our comp thing when we stop and go with the, the truck or, you know, go with the one that we first started off with. We'll just start off with this one. Mix it up a little bit, you know. So right now it actually, ooh, I like the interior on this thing. You know, most people are like, oh, it's just a basic interior. Well, yeah. You know, I, I like basic. The shaft's gonna probably be a little bit nicer. I like the old style, old, old style of interiors. They're kind of had more class, if that makes any sense. Okay, switch her down. Go to low. Let's see where we go on low. Actually, that's not too bad. Look at that. This thing's actually moving pretty good. And yes, thank you everybody for all the views. It is very helpful, I guess. I mean, I'm only getting like 
Actually, I get 348 views on the one. Which was the Ford versus Chevy versus GMC. <laughs> guys really made my day when I seen that, the 348 views on that video. I thought, wow, people are actually starting to watch my watch my videos, you know? And the next couple, I mean, yeah, whatever, they're like 84, 17, five, uh, 20, and then 5. So it's like, you know, it takes time, right guys? But no, it's... It's quite interesting, and I know my mic, my headset's really screwy. The internet's not really the best where I am, but I'm hoping when I go to my friend's place, he has a little bit better internet that I can record off of, <clears throat> and that you can hear me a little bit better instead of this, like, cutting in and out crap. Alright, so we just made it to the end of the trail, no problem. Let me that in my bowl. Ooh, look at him. Look at that. Look at the muffler system under that. What does the interior look like on this? Yeah, see, I like this interior. I like that, that window, too. See how there's, like, two black bars? I'm pretty sure that's what I think it is. Yeah, it's the sliding window in the middle. I, th I don't remember who came up well with that first. It was either Chev or Ford. I'm not sure. But yeah, this test, you know what? The one with bigger tires always wins. And no, it doesn't really matter where you go on this. <clears throat> At least I don't find. I mean, some people might bank the death row with the metal's deep. Well, let, there you go. I'll even do it with a jeep in the middle. <clears throat> but I don't know. I, I got a funny feeling that jeep's gonna make it. No problem. And then we will do the next video with the three taggers. <clears throat> the 64, 55, uh, I'm not quite sure what the other one is, 63, 35, or 34, or 43, or, I can't remember the, the other one, it's, I don't use it as much, but the 64, 55 is a very good truck, <clears throat> yeah, see, this, this Jeep's just plowing through it, like, even in high it went through it. Then we got a mud test, and then we've got the hill climb and high, which I should bring a trailer or two, maybe two trailers. We'll hook them up to the back of these. Well, let me tell you, this thing is very tippy. That is for sure. Of course, the chef just... Look at that flex, though. Wow. The flex on this thing is, like, really, like, amazing. Wow. And yes, these are both JWC's mods. So, out of the way, you know, yeah, they're both, bas both basically the same for... Like, both basically the same for, um, strength, right? Because it's both the same mod designer that made these. But, if you could tell, the Chev is a little bit more superior to the Jeep, as you can tell. I mean, not every truck is like that, right? You know, I can have a 74 Chevy Silverado, or whatever this one was back in the day, a 1500, or... 150. I, I know Dodge did that for a while. A one, uh, 100, 200, 300, or something like that. A D300. But I don't remember Chev too well. But Chev, I'm pretty sure, was the first one to come up with those back windows as well. Not quite sure. But as I was saying, I could have like a 73. Or 78 or whatever the same style of truck as that and you guys could have this and this thing could open from that Chevy any day just depends on who's driving 
what your tires are like, or, you know, a lot of different attributes, right? <clears throat> like, you know, it, it all depends on, even lift kit, even lift, lift kit, lift kits, like, you know, our stock base chef can go through a lot, like, I'm driving over three foot snow drifts, like, you know, like, that's what I mean, is, you know, your truck could only do so much what you think you can do with it, don't ever be scared to try it. Like, I mean, if it's like a grandparent vehicle, vehicle, okay, be a little bit scared to try it. Because <laughs> I kind of wouldn't want to see you guys making a video and being like, oh yeah, look at this, I can do this with my truck. And, you know, poor grandpa's like 1955, like Ford or something, you guys have, like, <laughs> goes through hell and back because I'm telling you, oh, don't be scared to take it through stuff. But no, like, you know, if it's an old truck and, you know, it's been beating around the bush, and, you know, just take it easy on it, you know. It's, it's probably seen more miles than your feet have seen running running at gym class, you know. So we are going to tow these up the hills. Oh, if I even make it there. No, I'm just going to go and get the other tag. And I can pull that over. You know what? I'm just going to use this tag here because you know this one's probably a lot better yeah this 64 or 36 that's the one so let's get this one out tune up raised Let's get this one out. And then we'll uh we'll go and see what the fuck we could do, right? <clears throat> I don't know, I really like those tires, I really do. They're nice. Like yeah, the tag of tires are nice, but like I don't know, they're just they seem like way too big to be on it. Like, they almost look too fat. Like, too wide. Yeah, definitely that. Okay. And yes, I will make sure to do the test sometime. And I keep on saying I'll do a video on GTA. I know I don't know how many of you guys actually want to see a video on GTA. But, you know, I'm trying my hardest, you know. I'm trying to get friends to join and they don't bother, so. I mean, and every time I do get them to, it's like try to do a video and you know sometimes some personal shit comes out and you know you can't really be posting on posting that kind of stuff on YouTube right so either way I hope you guys understand that I can't really do that to something right I mean I probably could you know I ain't you know you shouldn't be doing stuff like that Even if, even if it is fun to make fun of your fucking friends. You know, you shouldn't be posting their, like, privacy on fucking YouTube. You know, you don't just go on to Facebook and type out everything that was about your old friend that fucked you over. You know, you don't do shit like that. 
<clears throat> and all due consideration, to be honest, I think that's kind of a pussy way of dealing with your problems, right? So remember, just don't ever text up someone and start a fight for no reason. Or even post their stuff. Like, personal issues. Because you know, that, that could really send someone over the edge. So, you know, just be careful what you guys post, right? You know what? To be honest, these two taggers are really, like, pushing it. Yeah, and this one has a fine tune in it, so I think it's just a tad bit slower. <coughs> I'm sorry I'm clearing my throat so much, I don't know what's going on. I also got to go and drop off a sled tomorrow. Yeah, the life's of being a skidoo mechanic. You fix something up, you drop it off. And this sled, I didn't even bother fixing up. You know what? I, uh, I asked 120 bucks and this guy's giving me 200 bucks for Christmas. So it's like, you know, I kind of feel bad for it. So, you know. Hopefully I can make his day, you know, I told him there's issues with it, there's no motor, like, you know, I haven't had time to fucking fix a thing or nothing for our own personal sled, but I'll give you, like, a bunch of shit, like, carbides for the skis, like, new, not really new, but fairly new skis that basically have never been used once in their entire fucking life of, like, being on anything. There's nothing I was going to give to I can't remember. <laughs> but yeah, like... Hey, this thing has to move out of the way. You see why I don't play on this side? <clears throat> 25 9 is what this one is called. <sighs> you know, the Taiga is a very good vehicle. It really is. <clears throat> no, they might not be able to handle mud like this, but you know what? I don't see a single truck in this game being able to make it through this. Like, unless you want to do, like, some stupid shit. And, well, well, my truck can handle that. Well, if your mod, modded truck can handle that, I'd like to see it. The only thing I know that's able to make it through is, uh, I think it's Lime's. Lime's Mega Mud Bus. That is literally the only mod that I know of that can actually make it through that thing. That slop hole. Okay. Let's get one more try. Don't look good for the Jeep. Well, if you jump it in uh, low plus, which is probably low, I don't really want to say it because low high doesn't really make sense. Oh, there we go again. Okay, well, that's the end of that thing. I don't know why they're so friggin' tippy. Oh. I don't know if I just got that on video or not, but... I don't know, it's weird. For some reason, my videos have not been uploading.
At least in one video. Let's see what happens here. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah, no. Whoa, man. This thing just goes. That's the proof. You know what? I'm gonna let you guys decide on who's the winner of this one. And you know what? If you guys want, you know what? Add some of your friends, get this, these videos around. You know, yeah, I know my microphone's shit, but as I said in the beginning, I'm really hoping to get a better internet system, hopefully. I don't know when, probably not soon, anytime soon. You know? I kind of really like better internet, but that's what I can afford, I guess. I don't know if you guys like the video, you know what to do. Hit that like button. You know, subscribe, comment what you guys want to see next. I mean, as I said, I'm going to plan on doing the, the three tag test. And then, you know, I don't know, something special, you know, maybe a Christmas thing, but I'd like to at least get 50 subscribers before Christmas. Know, get me up there and subscribers hopefully but anyways guys if you enjoyed as I said like comment subscribe I know I kind of sound boring but I'm tired and I gotta do stuff tomorrow right all right well you guys have yourself a good night bye